Hi guys, Janet and Greg, and we're in Lindell, Texas. We're at the Old Mill Pond. It's a big museum, it's a big park, and they've got all these outbuildings, and we're going to take a look around and tell you a little bit more about the history. Okay, this is the first thing you see, you guys, when you come into the park. This big windmill. Bill Parrott developed this whole thing. And Bill and Gloria Parrott donated this to the city of Lindell. But I'm going to go ahead and take a walk into the Old Mill Museum. He was infatuated with agricultural machinery. So as you can see, it's a 1933 potato grater. How weird, man. Never seen one. Oh. Look at this. Wow, this is on the just on the porch. Sheep if found fully equal to a dog. So that was powered by sheep. Here we go. Pretty cool. Wow. Oh, this old equipment. Life was not easy in the old 1800s. A lot of this stuff is from the 1800s, 1850s and 1950s. Here we go. Texas declared her independence from Mexico, March 2nd, 1836. Bill was a building contractor and a land developer. Some of his drafting tools, you can see some old knives. And Bill was in the Navy. Wow. Look up, they are all around you. There are more than 300 manufacturers of handheld planters dated it back to the 1850s. Planting four acres a day. They were advertised in Sears and Robux. Oh, I see. Back over there, I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. Pretty cool. Apple peeler. Wow. It's back there in the back. Cool. Maybe making their own fabric with cotton. And... This was a brickyard back in the old days before Bill Parrott took it over. Oh, look at this, Model T. That is awesome. Wow. Hmm. The, the gathering, the most unique picture ever taken, 1883. Number two is Wyatt Earp. Wow, Doc Holliday's number four. Morgan Earp. Wow, all these Butch Cassidy. Okay. I wonder if this is real. All these Judge Ro Roy Bean. Come on. Maybe, who knows? Old tractors. Wow. Farm all tractor. Threshing machine. Separates grain and stocks and hucks. Wow. All this stuff. There's a lot here, you guys. 
lots. Cast iron skillets, cast iron is big time. Cooking over the fires. Washing your laundry by hand. The eating up old iron cast irons. The iron, yeah. Handmade musical instruments all over. Oh, look at this. That is cool. Neat. I don't know what that is. Wow. How cool, you guys. Wow. Do not touch. So tempting, though, isn't it? There we go. There is a lot here, you guys. Here, I bet we got bird food here. Let me peek out here real quick. Wow. Wow. Look. Yeah, there's fish. I see fish. See? This is a big pond. That is cool. Now they do all kinds of events out here. You can picnic out here. It's all free. Huh. I guess they did some filming out here. I would assume it's a great place. Whoa. That's really neat. There's so much to see, you guys. Oh. Sacks. Seed sacks. Seed corn. Whoa. It's a ringer. Man, don't get your shirt caught in that thing or your fingers either whoa on any of these flour wheat meal okay corn sheller 1900 that big wow Wow, look at this upstairs. You guys, need some tack? There you go. <laughs> They've got everything. They got horse bits and whips and saddles and wow. That's a pretty neat train, huh? It's a handmade from replicating the 1920s, they said. Let me take a closer look, you guys. Yeah. Okay, there's a button. Push the button. Wow. You know somebody that likes to collect all this? This type of stuff. Oh my gosh. Wow, now that one looks really old. And that's like cast iron, that's cool. All right, here we go. All this equipment, all these tools, farming tools. Looks like some planers there, parts of saws, little torches, cool. And a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. This is, we're in the chicken coop. Huh. Pretty neat. Wow. Here's an old steel. Moonshine. Here we are in the moonshine coop. 
section. Moonshine section. My family did a little bit of that apparently. From what I heard. You can see everything downstairs. There's a lot here you guys. This is all built by the city employees. Every bit of this. All the tables, all the displays. Here's a pharmacy. Old time pharmacy, old table there. Examining table. It's like an old office set up. Look at that buggy, that's pretty neat. Set up like an old school here. It's pretty neat too. And wow, they got all these instruments strung all the way across here. All kinds. There you go. <laughs> Old desk. Yeah, Bill really did like the farm equipment. And everybody's donated stuff from all around town in this area. And it's it's just awesome. It's awesome, you guys. Oil pole standard tread tractor. Around 1910 to 1930. And that's some tread there, isn't it? All right, guys, we're over at the tractors and engines display here at the park. And look at these old tractors they have here. I've never even heard of Alice Chalmers. This is an Oliver Model 70 row crop tractor, tractor from 1935 to 1948. I've never heard of them either. Old John Deere. Some plowing equipment. And a case tractor. I've heard of case. That one's from 1935 to 1940. Fordson Model F tread tractor. Did it start like that? Yeah, it's got a crank on the motor. A lot of these do. <laughs> That's an old John Deere. 1923 to 1953. Alright, we're inside the building where the tractor and engine display is. Look at these old chainsaws. All different kinds of farm engines. We've got a two-man chainsaw back there on the wall. Right, here's a large two-man chainsaw for cutting large trees. You gotta do like this somebody holds this end over here here's a Galloway tractor of some sort I don't know what that was used for McCormick Deering that's an old one Sandwich Company tractor. Never heard of them. 10 horsepower. Then up above, they've got all the plow equipment that you'd hook up to the tractors or to a horse or mule, oxen. Old original Coca-Cola sign. It's an old Ford. The first chainsaws were made in 1946. Two of these saws are of 1946 vintage. So that's some of the first original chainsaws. Alright, this is their little general store here. 
this entire complex sit or, sits on the outskirts or around the edge of the pond. I see stuff moving. <laughs> yeah. Let's go around this side over here. So they've got some vehicles over here. We can look at the fronts of the vehicles. Old see-through gas pump. 1934 nice Look at that old tractor and collecting these old tractors is pretty cool but you gotta have a lot of room to collect to collect these things and keep them covered on the wall it says corn and broom must be corn processing machines husking machines all kinds of them huh yeah okay a broom maker I guess Wow, I've never seen one that I know of. That's weird. Hmm. <laughs> Modern technology. We got a sawmill here. We got the moonshine still and the shack lean to here. That's a real old still, too. Wow. Gives you a little better view of that still. You ever watch the show Moonshiners? That looks like they're rigs. And right over here, we've got the blacksmith shop. Man, Mr. Paris spent a lot of time collecting. Give you guys a good view of the lake here, or the pond as we walk by it. All right, guys, this is the Homestead Church here on the property. You can rent this church out for functions. They do have a working bell out here in front, which I'm sure Janet will go yanking on the bell. Prayer Tower. Ring bell for peace. Yes, peace. There you go. It's loud. Yeah, it was. And this is the church. The church entrance overlooks the lake. Isn't that pretty? Hope you guys enjoyed this little video of Old Mill Pond Park. Um, it used to be called Parrot Park, but it's a great place. It's so quiet and serene. <laughs>